And if this is your first time here, I'd like to say you're welcome. Um, if you've been with us all along, I'd like to say thank you for staying tuned with us. And um, I appreciate all the love and support. Um, as you can already tell um, by the title of the video, um, we're going to be filming another reaction video. Today, I decided to do something a little bit different. I mean, it's entertainment, right? So I thought, why not? Today's video is going to be about the ongoing music beef between Chanta and Viper like I don't know these people individually however um, I've seen a few people you know post about the whole beef on their whatsapp status on Instagram I've actually had a few people pop up and tell me you know what why not do a video on the ongoing rap beef so I thought why not um, so I decided to do a little bit of research uh, on the whole, um, you know, on the whole uh, beef and how how it all started. I mean, just like everybody, um, I really like we all like we we all unsure about how the whole beef started. However, what sparked the whole beef was um, uh, Chanter's um, Baba Kana Zero One song. I mean, um, he later on dropped Baba Kana Zero Two, and then obviously um, Viper responded and um, to you know the diss. And um, he responded to the diss with "ba ba la ba ba," and now and now Chanta came back again with another "ba ba kana three and plus." So um, on today's video, I'm gonna be going through all the four songs with you guys and just give you a, a first-hand reaction to um, the disses and just chip in my ideas and my opinion on you know the whole situation now um if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please make sure to do that and um without further ado let's get into this video because this is gonna be spicy darlings it's gonna be hot it's gonna be spicy i mean i'm not i you know i don't feel off of um the drama too much because you know i like to protect my energy however the people love drama you know the people like entertainment and sometimes it's not bad to just bring a little bit of it okay as long as it doesn't get too violent all right now without further ado let's get into it so like i already mentioned um we're going to be um starting with chanter's baba kana or one because this was actually the first song that sparked the whole beef so um yeah let's get into it i'm quite excited let's see what this is all about um i've never really um heard any um beefs with the Gambian artist i mean i'm not really like i it's not like i'm very tuned into the Gambian music that much i do listen to a few songs here and there in senegalese music but not a lot into the Gambian artists like beefs and stuff so i really don't know what will be going on but this one actually caught my attention and so we're gonna see what this beef is about and you know how they're gonna play it out in their songs okay Rapori man malen na jahal. Okay, so he's basically saying that. Okay, you know, do my Guinea and jahal. Rapori man malen jahal. So my money to Guinea bullen na jahal. Okay, so he's basically saying. Ah, interesting. He's basically saying that all these rap rappers, like, you know, they scared, they intimidated by him. That he's he's that he's that guy. You know. He says, your girl sees me, rectobuma. <laughs> My man, he, he went all the way out. Okay, so now he's he's going all personal. Okay, he's, he's saying that obviously his girlfriend, I mean, uh, presumably Viper, Viper's girlfriend saw him and she started jumping on, 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 on him, basically. Okay. Hey, papi, Mateo, I'm named Fulo. Oi, papi, magyo, amni, hulo, big man, iman, kuno. Like, okay. I mean, I like, I like, I like his flow, the way he's switching his flow, like the beat. Mm. When an album, ya fenon. Motayades for demon. Oh. 
Wait, he said what? He's like, yeah, yeah, and he's got bad B, like what? Like Zainab? Okay. I want to see who this bad B is. I want to see this girl he's talking about. I want to see this girl that looks like Zainab. Man. He's basically talking his shit. He's basically saying, I'm that nigga. Like, I'm that guy. You heard? He's basically saying, you want it? <laughs> but yeah, like, he's quite interesting. I mean... I don't know if everything he's saying is facts, though, but, like I said, I don't know much about these people, but, um, song is nice, like, I mean, the beat is nice, he's going in, he's spitting, he's spitting, he's spitting, he's talking his shit, and, uh, his flow is amazing, I mean, the way he's switching, he's getting into all different, I like it, I like it, I like the wordplay, I like the way he's playing with, you know, I like it. Mune, ding and de, Baba Canale, you endo jama, where do you go for nane? So we okay, you endo jama, where do you go for nane? Don't go for nane, dig in. Hey, ding and de, why Baba Canale, Baba Mugu, Chori Mama. Mune, I'm si fan fan si face and I been a dumbo dumbo hairs. Now Leo, we da am run dumbo new. Boy, danga buy sa lo hosa. Leo, and I'm do you hairs like no 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 garau. Lila ni vex nasa. Man, I'm on your listen. Me and him about to have beef, mate. Man, I on your am beef. Nakala chanta la hawa. We having beef, mate. And I'm do you new lin. Ah? Naka bad biz you new lin. Agni hairsi. Ngiri nyari yep. Leo, magoa. Come again? You guys did not catch that, right? No, no, no. I thought, no. Hold on. You heard that, right? No, no, no. We're going back again. The disrespect. By Topondor Menisuna. Sandobi fi nyoko muje bona. Rude. My man is rude. May he said what? We were the I was like we were the last people to hit your girl. Disrespect. That 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 is that is disrespect. Blunt disrespect. He literally went for his girl, mate. My man, he, what, 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 Viper, if I were you, don't, don't even talk to that girl, mate. Don't holler. Nah, she for the streets. Woo! I mean, I don't know if that's true, though. Is that, is that true? I mean, sometimes, you know, when these people are having beef, they just chat, whatever, you know, just so they can sound good and just have points. However, is it facts, though? Because, obviously, I think if you're going to, like, write this, I want it to be made up, made out of facts. So I'm not sure. You guys should let me know down in the comment section whether these are all facts that he's stating. And man, who is this girl that he muje bona? Ha! Like, like, yeah, I'm in a corner. Carry on. Kofi T.A. Mike, my say yai, my say bye. Are you dumb? Do you hear that? Kofi T.A. Mike, my say yai, my say bye. He's sunning these guys. He's telling them, listen, your little boy, I kiss you on the forehead. I mean, I'd be pissed if he said that. I mean, if I wasn't a if I wasn't a rap if I was one of these rappers and a guy like you know it that's in the same lane as me is speaking like that. I mean, everybody's allowed to say whatever they gotta say. I mean, you're allowed to say you're the king of the you know the rap stuff. You're allowed to say you're the queen, you're allowed to say you, you know, you own this thing. I mean, my man is just coming for everybody's necks. He is not scared to offer anybody he's saying as long as you holding the mic and you singing I'm your dad and I'm your mom Are you mad Woo! I mean this guy is disrespectful mate disrespectful
to Baba Kana O2. So I'm expecting more dishes packed. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing Baba Kana O1 is opening the stage for the dishes packed and Baba O2, Baba Kana O2 is going to be even more despicable. So um, let's see what Baba Kana O2. Hey! Hey! Hold up! Hey! He said, Dylan Sendo me Baba I like this one. This is different to the other one. I mean, the sound is a bit different. I like this. This is cool, but still, you know, you can vibe to this. I'd listen to this. This is cute. I like it. Mune numarion ken tede kendu nyowat. Numreon de Yo, Nyanare, number one, be number one. Okay. My man is coming in. Hey, Mune Alhamdulillah, Murea Nyari Satan. No, this one I like that. That is actually a bar. That is that is a bar. Like a bar. He's saying that the one he's killing two satans. Basically, the one that told the the lie or the gossip, and the one that's actually taking the gossip to another person. So they're both the same people. I mean, yeah. Somebody can tell you something, you can stay shot. But if somebody tells you something and you talk, send it to somebody else, then obviously you're part of the, you know, you're part of the sequence. So, interesting. He's going to kill both of them. Okay, so is this guy, is this person, I mean, this person is speaking, is that German? German? Dutch? I don't know. What is this? What language is this? I like how they ended the, the, the video with this, um, you know, with this um, code. I, I like it. I like it. It's beautiful. And I like how the person is speaking a different language and, and it's translated so you can understand what they say. Quite different. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. How, oh, this is interesting. I like how um, he's got all the kids out, and um, you know he they, he's basically they're basically saying Baba Nata because he the song is Baba Kana, so um, it connotates actually the meaning of the song, and that's beautiful. Um, it's beautiful how the kids are out because it's basically saying obviously Baba Kana meaning obviously you know dad is coming, and him being with the kids and the kids are shouting that they're shouting and chanting Baba is here. Baba has arrived, then obviously that, that obviously does, uh, you know, um, you know, connotate or march with the song title, which is Baba Kana. Beautiful. I like that. Basically, I, I'm, I'm guessing that obviously these kids are he, like the other rappers in the, in the, in the game and he's basically sonning them. I don't know if that's what it is, but that might, that might be it or that might not be it. So I don't know. You guys should let me know in the comments down below what you think, um, you know, of this whole, um, you know, um, frame right here and um, what it connotates and if, if, if I'm just going too deep into it or it's just, you know, a casual one. But yeah, um, this is the end to uh, Baba Kana O2. Um, I think after this, um, after this song, then after this video or after this song, um, Viper then decided to respond with, um, with, um, Baba La Baba. So the person is basically talking down at somebody, basically telling them that obviously um, 
he said nim 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 mumu for no nim mumu ko i don't know <laughs> man you guys know i don't like you know i don't be doing this whole pandinka stuff i'm trying you know but um he's basically um um talking down on somebody telling them that obviously they don't know any, like they should go and do something else that he, they don't listen to their music now i don't know if this is um a voice note or um a recording of um viper or if this is somebody else's or if this is chanter that's something you guys could, would have to um let me know down in the comment section let me know if that recording was actually a uh, viper speaking or was that chanter um talking or somebody else i don't know all right so now let's get into it now what now first of all before we even get any further right the artwork viper was coming for his head viper said i'm not even playing with you i'm not even trying to play nice i'm coming for your neck and he came with his neck because he took his head and put it on the artwork. And he named it Baba La Baba. I like all the red stuff going on. <laughs> he entered, he literally introduced, <laughs> he said, He said, He said, He said, Oh my god. Sendo ide mom dem nam na nyomer man man mom bu mane ka sendo. I would not want to be any like your girlfriends. What is this? Yen le kudu ka rek nyore ndobi 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 ndoy ga me ni am ngen problem de. Am ngen problem man na mer man de. Ah, kine ndo kile ne ndo. Lila la ni wa bana. Okay, so he's basically saying you said I I, I fell off. Um well you're right. I I fell I fell on your on your, on your, on your girl, you know? The guy is direct, he's like dropping shots, he's basically telling you, I'm coming for you, I'm coming for your head, and I'm not even playing with you. I mean, I guess you would be, like, you would be in that same position if you were in his shoes, right? After having heard two disses on you. I'd be vexed, dude. So my man's coming for all the smoke. He said, I want all of these smoke. You heard? And who is this Lily? Huh? Well, yeah, you. Who is this Lily girl, mate? Is she Gambian? Lily, you Lily, you're the mom, not almost what? Yeah. Wow. He, he just basically trying to say, I know your girl, like, you know? Even though he didn't say anything disrespectful, he just said, say hi to your girl, Lily. Mm. Okay. Another topic, when you want, I check in. Hey, Mr. Holby said your heart is black like you, like you're, you're as dark as your heart. That is, you know, uh, okay. <laughs> My man is sunning him, he's trying to sun him. <laughs> These guys are just mad, disrespectful. Like, oh my god, the audacity. So he's basically trying to son him. He's like, ha, ha, like since when have you been in the game and you're trying to, like, force to have class, like, trying to bluff, you know? <laughs> hey. Hey. I mean, hold on. He's also got a good flow. He's got a good flow. I don't know. It's just, is it something about Gambian artists or Gambian rappers that they. You know they do have like good flow. i mean they have nice flow i mean they switch their flows in and out and on top of that their word play is cute it's good you gotta give it to them hmm? wait he's trying to say that they beat like, no they beat his ass nah they didn't is that true though did, it, did, it, did that really happen? This, the people, like the students from Sibek, like have a... <laughs> These guys are so petty. No, we're not doing this, mate. <laughs> nah. I know those kids. You must call like, bro, I'm not thinking about you. Bastard. Oh. You didn't know you didn't call. You didn't call that, bro, I'm not thinking about you. Bastard. Rude, 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 rude. Disrespect. Rude. Nah. I was never hard. He's, he's, he's playing the big man, like the alpha, the omega type. You know, he's trying to play that big man stuff. Like, oh, like, I'm, uh, like, you're my son, mate. You're my son. 
He is, yes, he's the real epitome of, <laughs> of sunning people. He's just trying to, look at the way he's belittling the guy. He's saying, Baba la Baba Nata, Fama la Fama Nata. So he's basically saying, your dad's dad has arrived. Fama, Baba. Is Fama and Baba not the same thing, right? I think it's Fama means dad, right? And ba Baba means dad. So I think he's saying, ba your dad's dad has arrived and your dad's dad has arrived. I don't think he's saying mom. Anyways, so he's basically saying he is his dad's dad. Oh my God. Because you know, um, Chanta guy said, Baba Kana, right? Means dad is coming. He said, your dad's dad is coming. Oh, disrespect. That's a violation. No. Uh-uh. Oh, my. I mean, I, I think Viper is older anyway, so I think that's why he's trying to son him and school him like that. Oh, my God, Viper. I don't like this. My son, King Solomon, manager. When a young si dear me ndo ye out yep, no one danga to the chanta. He's basically saying the guy is on all the all the girls outside their DM. So basically all the girls abroad, like all the girls that are abroad, um he's in their DM. So basically he's trying to chase them. But he's begging it. As if he's doing it too much. Wow. Is that true though? Is is King is, is this Chanta guy in your DMs, mate? I mean, I'd be ha I mean, you would be happy, right? <laughs> A Gambian rapper in your DMs? Why not? <laughs> but wait, is he? Let us know. Is he really that bad? Is he like is he doing it in a is he doing it like that tacky? Well, that's crazy. I mean, I know he's not in my DMs though. So <laughs> He said, you are a product of Luma Sao. Si Luma Sao Fanga Now that was, that's a rude one. That is very disrespectful. That's a violation. He's basically saying, you're, you're my pest. Ah, oh, nah, mate. with a warning note he's basically saying that he's waiting for his response and that the amount of shit he knows about the guy is mad so viper is basically telling chanta you want to smoke i'm waiting for your reply because me i'm gonna smoke you out i think after chanta heard obviously viper's baba la baba nata he's made the baba kana I don't know if there's another one. I think there's a three. Yeah, there's three. Hey. He's basically saying that um your raps have over they 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 all like overrated like they've all just old whack raps. Um, try me and then you go shit yourself. Try me and then you go you know. Fi my chef de eta. Dofi papa njai dofi chef de garage. He's basically saying, I'm the, what's the chef de chef de ta? What's the meaning of chef de ta? I think that's a French word. Is that saying like the chief? A chief of state. Chef chef de l'état. De l'état. May I'm trying to I'm trying to use my French may, but I don't know. Chef de l'état, that means chief of state? I don't know. Let me know what the meaning of chef de l'état means. Is that, I don't know, a council, minister, whatever? He's basically saying he's a big man. You're not even a garage a garage guy. Do you get what I mean? You're not a garage chef. He's also sunning him. He's trying to sun him. He's, trying to, he's, he's, trying to, he's, he's doing his own thing. 
dada do 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 te do 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 dada. I am. Oh, I caught him saying something about do 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 dada. I mean, Viper said something about do do dada, and he said that do do means shit. And now he's saying do 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 dada or dada do do. So he's basically saying do do and dada are not the same. I mean, everybody's individual. Your girl is my puta. Oh, he said your girl is my puta. Man, oh my god, this guy is just going in with all sorts of disrespect. He does not care if you're offended. He said just all his exes can fill up a show. That means he's got so many exes. Hey, if they can fill up a show, that means you, you, you basically have, you know, at least a good 10% uh, of, gam of gamin girls on your own, mate. Okay, interesting. Or even less, maybe, I don't know, 5%. I mean, I'm, maybe I exaggerated the numbers, but God, he must at least have a good um, 500 exes to fill up a show, right? But that depends on where the, where the show is, is being held. Okay. He said, Nyata Sandui La Lalman. He's basically saying, How many of your girls have I hit? Have I smashed? Oh, please, Chanta. Do you buy and rebal and do you do you mop? Then you get it to soul it to soul it to soul. Oh, my God. Mune, oh, oh, oh. So he responded to the Lily bit because he did say say hi to Lily. He said, Lily, yo, book of you do girl. How much survive yo, yai can. So he's basically saying, don't discuss my girl Lily. Like, she doesn't even know who you are. I mean, at this point, he's been talking. I mean, it wouldn't. Chanta's talking about Viper's bitches and how he smashed them. But then obviously he's offended that he's mentioned Lily. I mean, you gotta be fair, right? You mentioned this girl. You sh you cannot be offended that he mentioned your girl. I'm just saying. Your album been coming soon. It's been two years. Okay, so he's been mentioning this album thing for um, even the the, the other the other song. Well, what was Viper was Viper supposed to drop um an album and he didn't drop it? What happened? Because um you know he's basically saying you said you're gonna drop an album like two years ago and where's the album? Where's the album, Viper? Where is it? I mean, that's it for me. I, I don't think anything is, is here anymore. And, um, well, that's a, that's a whole um, huge exchange of words and swear words and everything. I mean, it's, um, it's, uh, it's entertaining. The fans like to see this kind of stuff. It's entertaining to the viewers, entertaining to people, it's entertaining to the fans. I mean, it boosts streams and views and, you know, it's it, it causes discussion, you know. This is, you know, it's, it's all a part of inter mainstream entertainment, entertainment in general. People like this kind of stuff. Even though it's negative sometimes and too much of it is not, like, nice and there's a lot of drama, but obviously people like this kind of stuff. They might not admit to it, but they enjoy this kind of stuff. Once in a while, they do. Now, as long as it stays within the entertainment barrier, I am happy with that. I am, I, I am here for it, you understand? As long as, you know... They're not going too much outside the lines. Like, don't get too too deep into the family size. Just stay within yourselves. You can say whatever you want to say um, about each other. That's perfectly fine. But don't involve other people into it, especially if it's like family or you know, you know, close um close loved ones. So um, I think you know, there's a thin line between you know entertainment and disrespect, and you don't want to go too far. So um, you know, as long as they stay within that um within that um equilibrium then that's perfectly fine and um i don't i don't condone violence um so i think 
if you have anything to say to any singer or anybody that's in the same you know sector as you and you do sing then put it in your music that's what it should be you know all this rap um beefs and battles do it on your music this is what you're selling this is who you are this is what people know you for so put it in in the songs and the music you do speak your mind because that's what you that's where you're gonna get your money from and um, no need for the fighting, the violence, and all the stuff. We don't need that. That's not necessary. Make your own money. Say whatever you're going to say on your disc. Anybody can say whatever they want on a disc song. Just don't take it too far. I don't know what the real issue is with these people because they, they've not really discussed it. Uh, but, you know, I'd say it's not. You know, you guys don't need to go this route. You don't have to like each other, but you can be civil with each other. And um, at the end of the day, um, you know, make money. Like, make money any way you know how to do if you know if this is your way to make money then go ahead and do that um but obviously um you know you, you don't want to focus on into too much of the negativity and uh, there's a lot of things going on around the world and this is the last thing we want to be doing is uh, feeding into drama and you know you know focusing on that type of negative energy because you don't need that um now with that with that being said um tell me who you think came harder are you team viper or team um Chanta. I mean, Chanta has dropped three songs and Viper had only dropped one. So obviously, looking at their, you know, their resumes between those two, those tracks, um, you'd say, you know, Chanta has a more, you know. However, in terms of weight, which one would you consider better? Would you think? Of it? I mean, I think Viper's response was amazing. He just really sunned him, and it's really mad. And then obviously, what's it, what's it called? Chanta continues to sum the guy throughout all his songs. So, um, but obviously, I think because it is a lot of the songs, it become it became too repetitive in a sense, and um, you might lose the value of what he was trying to say because I I, I feel like some of the things were repetitive, um, and some were not. So, but regardless, both the songs, both the artists, uh, the the tunes are amazing. They've got amazing wordplay. Um, they've got amazing flow, and I, I mean, amazing, really, really good, very um very diverse very very wow very interesting i like it and um yeah let us know down in the comment section um which um artist is your favorite i mean in relations to you know the whole uh, beef and the diss songs and in this point of time i've just ordered all that main artists like we just started doing music we should focus on the music and make money and don't pay too much attention to the drama just ignore it if it's not giving you money then it, it's not your business and you know get that money you all are in this game and you can all win so what is the problem, you know? Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. You have a lovely um, evening. Bye-bye.